hi everybody welcome to my channel um happy new year 2023 <laughs> yeah so um in this video i'll be creating an avatar character or a character set in the avatar universe i'll also be sharing some big news so stay tuned so around some time earlier last year it was announced that the original showrunners of the Avatar TV shows, Mike and Brian, are creating a studio, studio. Avatar Studios to be exact. So um, this studio now is going to focus on making new movies, animated movies and TV shows. So we Avatar fans are going to be eating good for the next couple of years, so just get ready. Now you're probably thinking, when are we getting a new Avatar series? So. The new Avatar series is actually going to be the second project in the line of production. The first is said to be an animated movie based on the original characters from Avatar The Last Airbender. But this time they will be adults. So after this animated movie we get the Avatar series, then a Zuko movie. It's still going to be an adult Zuko movie and then a Kyoshi movie. More on the new Avatar series. As most of us know, for a new avatar to be declared, the present avatar has to be good. So probably as this series starts, Korra must have kicked the bucket. <laughs> as most of the fans already know, the next avatar is going to be an earthbender. Which is ghost, earth, fire, air, water. So yeah, basically, you know, except you're a dummy. I mean, it's obvious. Most of the avatars live pretty long. Um, except for Eng for some reason. So most of the avatars live pretty long. So I'm thinking Korra should have lived to 60, 70, 80, maybe 100. Yeah. So there should be like some technological advancements with the New Republic city. Like they should be closer to our time. Because Avatar Legend of Korra was set in the 20s. So like after like, I mean, you do the math. I'm not that good at math. But you do the math after like 80, 70 years, they should be closer to. You know, modern times. I'm not expecting the new Avatar to be using an iPhone or anything. <laughs> I'm just saying there's going to be some sort of time jump from the time that Korra is in and the time that this Avatar is going to be set in. Now it's time for the main purpose of this video creating a new Avatar character. Let's go. As you can see here, there are various subdivisions of the main elements of bending. So my character is going to be based on a new type of bending I like to call dark energy bending. It's like a mixture of fire and water. So I mean when you mix red and blue, you get purple. So my character is going to be a purple based character. In the RT universe, as time passes, the benders get more and more comfortable with their bending skills. So they even start to implement new bending styles like as you can see here metal bending is like a subdivision of earth bending so i just like to think of dark energy bending as some sort of combination of water and fire so let's get to the drawing part so for this character i'm going to be referencing this specific pose um, when you're referencing a pose it's better to just um, go with the pose but not the character you know no, don't copy the character as I said dark energy bending is a mixture of fire and water so that's why I'm using this pose from Zuko just to get that fire bending feel since this character is set in the Avatar universe, we'll be using the face of one of the main protagonists from Korra. Um, a quick word of advice for anyone that wants to go into digital art. I would advise you to have at least a solid or a basic foundation in drawing before you use references because if you don't even know how to draw a box and you start using references you're just going to end up tracing like I know where to put my shadows I know the basic lighting techniques 
you know you need all those basic skills when you're using references if not you just end up tracing someone else's art or tracing a human being and just pasting it you know and just suck like so yeah so if you enjoyed the video in any way consider leaving a like or even subscribing i mean look at those numbers they're just sad you can drop your thoughts in the comments whether you like the video or you hate it this is actually the first time i'm doing voiceover for a video on my channel so i really like to know your thoughts yeah if you guys want me to keep making this kind of videos in the future or i should just shut the f up and just you know draw and do my speed process videos thanks a lot i'll see you guys later